Hello everyone, it's Lola here again and I welcome you all back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making a very easy peanut soup. This peanut soup comes together pretty easily in a little time and you need just a few pantry ingredients for this recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put everything together. The first thing I'm going to do is to blend my tomatoes, onions and habanero peppers. And I'm using half of a bulb of onion today, two tomatoes, two habanero peppers, half about an inch of ginger roots and four cloves of garlic. I'm going to be adding a little bit of water to this to ease the blending. And I'll go ahead and blend. All right, so this has been finely blended. I'll go ahead and set it aside. I've got my chicken here and today I'm using the chicken thighs. Feel free to use any part of chicken you want. It's all well and good. And to that, I'm going to be adding my paprika, salt, black pepper, and cayenne pepper just for a little bit of heat. So I'll just go ahead and mix everything together until all the spices coat every bit of the chicken. All right, so once every part of the chicken has been well coated with the seasoning, I'll go ahead and set it aside. I've got my pan here. I'm going to be adding some cooking oil to that. This is about six tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm going to be waiting for this oil to get hot. And once it's hot, I'm going to be frying my chicken. My oil is nice and hot. I'll go ahead and add my chicken. All right, after frying this for about six to eight minutes on one side, I'll go ahead and flip to the other side. And I'll also be browning that for a couple of minutes. So here we go, my chicken is nicely browned. I'll just go ahead and take everything from the oil and I'll be setting them aside. All right, so to this remaining oil, I'm going to be adding some onions. If your oil is too much at this point, feel free to take out some and keep it for other purposes. Right, so my onions are softened at this point. I'll go ahead and add my blended tomato. And I'll also be adding a tablespoon of tomato paste just to thicken it up a little bit. Before I leave this to cook for a while, I'll also be adding my bay leaves. Then I'll be covering this and leaving it to cook until it's well reduced. So my sauce has been cooking for a while, but it's not yet dried to my liking. I'm just tearing it to prevent it from burning. So I'll go ahead and cover it up and leave it to cook a little bit further. Here we go, guys. My sauce is well reduced. It's well fried, as you can see. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning. Here's my thyme, seasoning powder, salt, and black pepper. Go ahead and give that a good mix. It's now time to add my peanut butter. This peanut butter that I'm using today is the natural one. It just consists of peanuts and salt. So when making peanut soup, try to stay away from the ones that has sugar and other ingredients. All you need is just the one with peanuts and salt. So I'll go ahead and add my stock. This is chicken stock. I'm going to mix it well until the peanut butter is dissolved inside the sauce. And I'm going to be leaving this to cook for a little bit. But before I leave it, I'll be adding my chicken back so that the chicken can be fully cooked. So I want this to get thickened and I want the chicken to fully cook. And this is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes or anywhere in between. Also, if you feel the sauce is getting too thick, feel free to add some water or stock to dilute it a little bit. Here we go, guys. My peanut sauce is all done. I told you it was pretty easy. It came together in less than 30 minutes. If you like it a little lighter, feel free to add more stock or water, but this is perfectly okay for me. So before we leave, I like to add a little bit of spinach. 
you don't have to do this it's just my own way of adding more nutrients to the soup you can also use vegetables like carrots or potatoes and whatnot but i like to keep it simple today so i'm just using spinach there we go guys it's all done so this is how i make my easy but delicious peanut soup in about 30 minutes and you can serve this with your white rice brown rice pasta even your fufu pounded yam and you know whatnot it's very versatile and it goes with virtually every meal so that's it again for today Thank you very much for spending your time with me as usual all the details you need to today's recipe can be found in the description box below and please if you are yet to subscribe don't forget to do that and also click that bell button beside the subscribe button so you can get notified of every of my posts until next time i'll talk to you shortly enjoy